Hi, this is the video for the back house room. And this is the video specifically for this room and how to get in because it's a little different than every other room at this property. So this is the property here and you can see the main entrance right in front of you under the 934 on the door. You can see two cars are parked out here. Now you don't go in the main entrance. That's what's a little different. All the other rooms are in the main entrance. But actually what you do is you go to the left just on the other side of that black car that you see there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. I've already opened the gate um, so we can walk in. There's another video with information about how to open the gate and the lock and all of that. But what we're going to do is just focus on the room. So you're going to go to the left of the main door. I'll turn here again. You can see the main door right there. It's locked. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk to the left side of the house. There's a little passage goes right down the side of the house here you can see you're just gonna walk down the side that's the fastest and easiest way you can also walk through the house but there's no point you'll have to walk up some steps walk through some narrow hallways walk down some more steps so just do what I'm doing here walk on the left side of the house and you'll come to the back we have a little patio and you can see here is the back door of the house there's a little old refrigerator we're working on right there and as you walk a little further, you'll see the laundry room is right here, right? And you're going to walk just around the side of the laundry room to the back. You can see here's the back gate. And you're going to come to the back entrance. And this is what it looks like. It's just a metal door. We're doing a little cleaning, so apologize for that. There's a little shed. And you're going to walk right up. And it's the same lock as both the front of the house and the back of the house and it's the same code as all of the other locks we've left every code is the same so it doesn't get confusing you can go into the main house and all of that so i'm going to move the camera away when i put in the code because of course we change it so let me move the camera off i'm typing in the code it's four digits you put the code in like i've done and then you turn this to the right and it will open all right and just like the other doors you press the top button here that says schlang to lock it, and then you put in the code. I'm gonna move away. And then you turn it to the right, and it will open, all right? And then you just walk right in, and it is the first door immediately on your left. It has a two zero above it. It is the only door currently with an electric lock. All the other doors have keyed locks. If it's got a key, it's not for you, <laughs> right? It's the easy thing. Then you put in the code on your door and press the pound button. On your door, it's a little different. You have to press the pound button after the code. I'm going to put in the code now. It'll beep like that, and you turn the handle, and there you are. Now let me turn on the lights. There you can see the room. It's fairly simple, but clean and accessible. There's a desk here, got a chair. A bed, the bed sheets might be different. It just depends what uh, sheets we had available that day, but they will be clean and freshly washed. There is a storage area up here. We've put a few little hangers and whatever. There's even a little built-in above the bed that you can put your stuff in. And there is an air conditioner. Um, there's a video on the air conditioner, but since you're watching this, I'll just let you know. The controls are in this little remote that stores here. You need the remote, so leave it in the thing. Um, the only really important thing, there's two things, make sure the light is blue and that the temperature is set fairly low so it, the compressor works. There's a video on that, but just to show you here, if the light's not blue, you press the mode button. See, I'll press mode. Now it's orange. That means dehumidify. Then it's green. That means fan only. And now I press it again. It's blue. Blue is what I want. Blue means air conditioning. And then there's also these temperature buttons. If it's not air conditioning enough, you can lower the temperature down to like 70, 71, 72. That way, you can set the temperature to what you like. It will run until it reaches that temperature. It'll keep running, but it'll turn off the AC and just blow fresh air until it gets too hot and it'll turn on the AC again. And that just pumps right out the window right there. There's really no view in here, the window just looks out over the back courtyard on top of that shed nothing particularly special um, so it is a pretty simple little room it does have a window and in a fire emergency if you couldn't get out of your door you just pull that window open and climb right out 
um, and you'll be just fine. Because on the other side of that window is pure concrete. You got your desk here. Uh, we do have a little coffee maker here. Um, some coffee for you. There should be this alarm clock. It has the main purpose of it is that it has power outlets and USB. Um, there's also power here because everybody has lots of things to plug in. And we've put a power strip here next to the bed as well. If you like to plug in your phone or device while you're sitting on the bed, there's a small full length mirror on the window. I'll step outside and show you the bathroom is directly outside of your door. And if you were to walk down the hallway to the end, see how I'm going around the corner, there is a huge kitchen. The kitchen is disproportionate to the rest of the property because this kitchen used to be used to feed the whole house. We don't do that anymore, but um, it used to be uh, a full meal service many years ago. But the kitchen that provided that is still here and you're welcome to use it as you need. There's, I think, two refrigerators in here, three, two and a half. There's this huge gas stove, um, all of that uh, good stuff, microwave, blah, blah, blah. And I'll just go back to your room real quick. Oh, you know what? I will also mention to you the um, kitchen door. I'll go out this way. Um, if you go on the right side of the property, you can come in the kitchen door. Now this we usually keep locked, but that is another exit. You'll see that when you get here. But the main point is to go to the back of the house by going around the left side. You just basically go all the way around the back and make a U-turn, open this screen door if it is not already open. Often, if someone's home, they'll leave it open. This door right here, using the code if it is locked. Often on a hot day when people are home, they will take this, and I don't know if you can see there, do that to hold the door open. Um, so that it gets full airflow. We don't really have an insect problem here. You won't have that issue in your room because you have this lovely air conditioner. Just got to keep the room door shut just for the air conditioner to work. And that's it. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.